What's good guys, it's Joseph and today we're going to be doing a custom stinger transition for your streams and after effects, um, you know, by hand. We're going to be, uh, you know, making something a little bit like this. Um, and it, it'll kind of just, you know, pop up on the screen and be like two set, like barely over two seconds. These things are just, you just want them to be clean and, you know, minimal. You don't want them to take too much of the time for the viewer. You just kind of want it to, you know, flash up, show your branding, and that's it. Um, we're not going to be creating that same exact one that I just showed you. Um, we're going to be making our own. Using I'm gonna, I'm basically going to show you like a similar workflow that I used for that for that one, but it won't be like the same exact thing because I made that for a client, and I don't really want you know y'all to be making that same exact one because I made that one specific for this person so we're just gonna go ahead and you know do something generic and uh, I'm just gonna show you just you know how it's done and then if we have time but at the end I'm gonna show you guys how to render it out but you guys can probably figure that out I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new composition I made this one 10 seconds 30 frames per second um, you can make whatever frame rate you want um, 1920 by 1080 by yeah, 1920 by 1080 unless you're streaming at a different resolution um, but yeah so there you go you got your little project there got my motion ready to go we're not gonna be using motion 3 here because you guys probably don't have it um, it's an add-on for After Effects if you're ever interested in looking looking uh, you know into it it's really nice um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I got a 10 second composition but we're only gonna be working with about you know two to three seconds so I'm just gonna go ahead I like to give myself some space so I'm, I'm just gonna give myself a lot, around five seconds um so I'll show you how to do that you know the rectangular effect where kind of like maybe I, I can describe it as like an accordion type thing I'm just gonna go ahead and make a solid um, or you can just make a really large rectangle but a solid is gonna work fine um, something you can do is try and find a color, like a color, uh, you know, scheme. Um, I personally use colorhunt.com. And so you can see that, you know, you, there's different palettes here. You can select these different options here and you can just look through all of them. And if you like one, you can stick with it. I'm just going to go up with colors off the top of my head. I'm just going to use, uh, you know, I'm going to start off with the blue. And I'm honestly going to, I'm going to actually put a fill on this from your effects and presets fill. And I'm going to make that blue. Just whatever kind of blue I want. And then I'm going to do all my animation with this one rectangle. Um, I'm going to have it go from side left to right. Um, and so you basically press P on your keyboard for position on this thing. Drag it all the way to the left. If you want to see transparency, just toggle this little transparency grid. And everything that has this little grid of gray and white squares is going to be transparent. So let's say I had a clip under it. The clip's going to be showing. And so it's basically just showing that there's nothing there. So I'm going to make a keyframe for my position. And then I'm going to go at like, I'm going to go to like one second. And then I'm going to bring it all the way aligned in the center and you can just use the align tab to make it perfectly in the center and then at like two seconds I'm just gonna go ahead and move it off holding shift so it stays centered the whole time just like that and so if you look and this is just a linear movement it's really going like this and this can actually work if it's something you're a little style you're looking for the way Stinger transition works in whatever streaming software prefer, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Twitch pretty much right now. Um, whenever your animation fully covers the frame, that is when it's going to make the transition. So if we just have this rectangle just going across the screen, it it's going to transition at this point and then it'll be your new clip there. But we want to make this look a little bit cooler, so we're going to highlight these keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or just simply press f9 on your keyboard and we're gonna hit this little box right here it's gonna take us into the graph editor you can you can already kind of see it it eases in it slows down here and then it goes out um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this middle point I'm gonna drag this 
all the way to the left and drag this all the way to the right. And now you can see that it goes in really fast here, slows down a lot, and then um, it's still moving a little bit, and then it goes out. And you can you can play around with these. You can drag this out a little bit if you want. Um, something else you can do, if you want it to stay in the middle for a little bit, you can make a you can duplicate this keyframe and move it like a ten frames forward. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, because I, I like how it looks because it's just quick like you can have you know your because as, as long as there's one frame that you know is covering the whole scene then it can do its transition and then if you go to the next frame over there's like a little tiny bit and this is where it starts to move to the right and you can kind of see it's transparent like right here like all the way at the end but I mean I think it looks good especially after we make more rectangles. So let's go ahead and say, I'm gonna go ahead into this fill and I'm just gonna you know, make this a lighter blue. I'm gonna duplicate this clip like, like four times and just go in each fill and just pick a different color. So I'm gonna make this one darker and I'm gonna make this one like white and then I'll make this one the same blue I'm just going to leave this one the same blue and then I'm going to make this one the same blue from right here. So I'm just going to copy this color code to go to the top one, make that the same blue. And so this is basically going to be, you can, you can rename these if you want. So this is going to be the light blue, the darker blue, a white, light, dark. So that, and that's pretty much how it's going to be. And you can, you can make them whatever, you can have them be any color you want. Um, and so basically that's it. After that, you just take each one, you you can stagger them by one frame, and there's actually a way you can do that just by highlighting all of them, but I forgot, so I'm just going to do it by hand. Just put this one one frame over, and they'll just be staggered one frame from each other. So one, two, three, four, and there you go. You can kind of see now, as you scrub through, you see that there are multiple of these rectangles moving and so that's how you get that effect um if you don't like how it's slowing down like so close to the edge you can you know press you on your keyboard and look at your keyframes and you can actually go to each one and then move the rectangle even more to the right but i'm just gonna leave it how it is um because i think it looks cool like that and so now you can kind of see now if you look at it as it moves this way when it moves back out you can see that it's actually not really showing that on the back end and there's a bunch there's like a bunch of different ways you can fix that the way that i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this keyframe right here i'm going to copy and paste this one right here and I'm gonna put it a frame after that and then I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them and so it'll be like a little a little triangle of stuff so there we go and so now if you go frame by frame you can see that it's it's kind of doing what you want but you're gonna you're gonna want to go into the graph editor and change how so if you look at it like this, so this is the top dark blue that you see. And so you actually want these to be um, the opposite of each other. These frames right here, because the way it's moving right now, this is the one that's going to, the top one is going to be finishing last, but you want it to finish first. And so just basically switch where these frames are. So go right here. And then, you know, bring this bottom one over here and go to the two seconds and bring here and then just stagger them by one frame, just like that. And so now, there you go. It's just magic. And I know that was kind of confusing, but now you can kind of see you want these, you want the keyframes to be parallel with each other, basically. And so now if I play through it, it's going to be like that. Boom. Um, and so there you go. And now let's say you have some branding that you want to add to this. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my own logo on there. Um, I'm just going to drag it in. Um, I have it as an AI. Uh, I'm just going to drag it in there, put it on top, and I'll I'll just put a I'll put a fill on it. And I'll make it white or something. I have the quality down so it's gonna, it doesn't look very good, but it's okay. Um and so this goes and this is this is going to go for anything that you put in the middle. So you see this top rectangle right here. It's the one that kind of starts the, um, not start, but it, it's the one that passes the logo first each time, sort of. Basically, if you duplicate this top one, put it on top of your logo, and then go to toggle switches and modes if you don't have the track mat um, enabled or able to be used. You want to make sure that top one is on top of the logo, and then you want to go and make it an alpha mat. And so now that logo is only going to show up after or when this specific rectangle is on top of it. And otherwise the rectangle is invisible because it, it's only basically an area to show that the logo is not going to be there. And so now once you do that, you can do anything you want with the logo. So like you can make the logo start animating like right here and you can whatever or maybe you can start it while it's still not in the frame so like right there and then you can you know press s on your keyboard and animate the scale and just have it be moving continually throughout um but or, or just something to just liven up the scene and this is where i want you guys to get creative you know create like a motion background like i did in this one right here i'm probably gonna i'll stick it right here again so you can see it you, you can see there's a motion background behind the logo. The logo is kind of animating in separate parts. Um, you know, so just be creative with it. And that's pretty much like how you want a stinger transition to be. And it doesn't have to necessarily be like this. This is just an idea that, you know, a lot of people do for transitions to, like, you know, make it live, lively. But you can pretty much do anything. So, like, let's say I don't have any of this stuff and, like, I have it all deleted and I just want like a a circle to pop up from the middle of the screen and then fill up the whole frame and then that's when the transition stops and then it you know gets smaller or something where it moves to the right and then whatever. Basically like what you want to happen is you want your animation to begin off screen or something and then you want it to fill up the entire screen and then you want it to animate off. That's pretty much all you got to do. It doesn't really you don't really have to have anything else. And then this is just a little, you know, sample of something you can create. Um, I want you guys to get creative and then, you know, you can link me on Twitter and I can, you know, test them out or see them, what they look like and give you some feedback and stuff like that. But if you guys have any questions, I know this video is a little bit longer than it normally is. I try to make it as condensed and easy as I could. If you guys do want anything that's like really in particular and you want me to show you guys how to make an actual like finished polished product i can do that um, i just like to leave it up to you guys to finish the project on your own um, i feel like you get more of a creative workout that way if you will if you will but other than that guys i hope you have a great rest of the day um, leave a like and a comment uh, i always read them all i don't write i don't reply to them all i try to reply to my twitter dms if you have any questions or whatever but um, i hope you guys have a great rest of the day i'm out peace